नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर इज थ्री ओके फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्म बाय ज्वाइनिंग द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ साइड ऑफ ट्राइंगल हुज वर्टाइसिस आर एंड द वर्टाइसिस आर गिवन ए इट्स कॉर्डिनेट्स बी इट्स कॉर्डिनेट्स एंड सी इट्स कॉर्डिनेट्स आर गिवन टू एस ओके सो दिस ए बी सी ट्राइंगल इज गिवन टू एस एंड वॉट वी आर आस्क वी आर आस्क टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल विच ट्राइंगल The triangle which is formed by joining the midpoints of sides. Okay, so AB is a side, P is its midpoint. Let P be the midpoint. This is side AC. Let Q be the midpoint of AC. This is side BC, and let R be the midpoint of BC. Okay, so we need to find the area of this triangle PQR. Find the area of the triangle. Okay, how it is formed? Formed by joining the midpoints of sides of triangle. Whose vertices are A, B, and C. Okay, so these are the midpoints. P, Q, R are the midpoints of these sides. So we have joined the midpoints, and we have got a triangle, and we need to find the area of this triangle P, Q, R. Then, also we need to find the ratio of this area to the area of given triangle. Okay, so we need to find the area of this big triangle as well. Then we need to find the ratio that we will see later on. Okay, now since these P, Q, R are not given to us, so what we will say. Let P, Q, R be the midpoints of A, B, A, C, and B, C, uh, respectively. Okay. Now, if we need to find the area of triangle, we need to know its coordinates, coordinates of the vertices, right? So we need to know the coordinates of P. We need to know the coordinates of Q and coordinates of R. But at present, we don't know it. Okay. So how we will find? Let's see. It is given that P is the midpoint of what? P is the midpoint of A, B. Right. So, can we find the uh, coordinates of this vertex P? Yes, this point P. Coordinates of this point P. Using which formula? We will use midpoint formula to find the coordinates of this point. Okay. Since P is the midpoint of AB, what is the midpoint formula? P bracket x comma y is x1 plus x2 upon 2 comma y1 plus y y2 upon 2. P is the midpoint of AB. So, these are our x1, y1, x2, y2. Or you can even take this as x1 y1 and this as x2 y2. Not a problem. Okay. Now, so we have uh, substituted uh, the values. X1 is 0, y1 is minus 1. Or x1 is 0, x2 is 2. So 0 plus 2 upon 2, comma y1 plus y2. Y1 is minus 1, y2 is plus 1. So y1 plus y2 upon 2. So minus 1 plus 1 upon 2. So 0 upon 2. It is 0. So p of x comma y is 1 comma 0. Similarly. Q Q is the midpoint of what? It is AC. So this is x1 y1. This is x2 y2. Right. So substitute the values and you will get Q of x comma y is 0 comma 1. Next we have to find R uh, R bracket x comma y. Okay. R is the midpoint of what? BC. Okay. So this is x1 y1. This is x2 y2. Substitute the values and you will get the coordinates of R as uh, 1 comma 2. Okay, so now you have uh, you have P as one comma zero, Q as zero comma one, and R as one comma two. So this is the this is the, these are the coordinates of the vertices of triangle. Okay, so now you have x one y one, x two y two, and x three y three. So um, write the formula for area of triangle. Okay, now and substitute the values. Okay, y two minus y three, y two is one, y three is two. Uh, So one one minus two. So one minus two is minus one. Similarly, what is x one is what one. Now x two is what zero. Zero bracket this. So two minus zero. It is zero into two. It is zero into two is zero. One minus two is minus one. One into minus one is minus one. Okay. X three. X three is what one bracket. Y one minus y two. Y one is zero. Y two is one. So zero minus one is minus one. One into minus one is minus one. So minus one minus one is what minus two. So half of minus two. So two ones are two ones are. So it is minus one. So you have got area of triangle PQR as minus one. But area cannot be negative. Okay. So what you do is you need to write a statement. So area of triangle PQR is equal to one square unit. Area cannot be negative. So what we do here instead of minus one, we write it as plus one. A very very important point. Okay. So if you while finding if you while finding the area of triangle if you get the value as minus one or if you get the value as negative you change it to positive with this and put a reason area cannot write a reason area cannot be negative now you will say why we got area as negative it's because 
we have taken this as x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 if we had taken uh, this as x1 y1 this as x2 y2 and this as x3 y3 we might have got positive value okay so it's it, uh, we have got negative because we have considered one order of this x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 for some other order like if we had taken this as x1 y1 this as x2 y2 this as x3 y3 or vice versa then we might have directly got area of triangle as positive value okay so even if you get negative answer don't worry don't consider that your answer is wrong what you do is you you ch check it again okay just to be sure and then if you after double checking if you uh, realize that what you have done is correct then just change this negative sign to positive and write the reason as area cannot be negative okay now so we have found the area of triangle pqr so first question, first answer is there okay we, have, we were asked to find the area of the triangle next is what next is find the ratio of this area this area means what ratio of this area pqr to the area of given triangle so given triangle is abc right so we have to find the area of abc okay again um, uh, assign coordinates x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 x3 comma y3 use the uh, area of triangle formula find out the area that comes to four square units okay all these are basics of maths okay we'll get it as four square units now you have to find the ratio of area of this triangle to the area of original triangle abc so the ratio is 1 upon 4 that is ratio of areas is, is equal to 1 is to 4 so this is the answer of the second part of question where we are asked to find the ratio of this area to the area of given triangle the given triangle is abc okay so the ratio of areas is 1 is to 4